been a while since I have posted. We have our house on the market, so things have been really crazy around here. But I wanted to share with you what I'm working on this morning. I am making homemade egg McMuffins. These have egg, Canadian bacon, and cheese. I made a trip to Costco over the weekend, so I had a pretty extensive trip. Lots of items purchased, and so I was going to do these as breakfast sandwiches this morning, but these are probably just going to get devoured um, for breakfast today. So these won't go into the freezer. We'll just finish these up for breakfast this morning, and then I wanted to share this with you too. Over the weekend, I grilled, well Sunday, I grilled hamburgers, and these were the ones that we had left. So these are going into the freezer, and then when we need a quick supper or a quick lunch, we can just pull these out, heat these up, and we will have grilled burgers. So I wanted to share that with you. I bought a big package of burgers. We had um, guests over, and so we were really short on time because we had to show our house on Sunday as well. And so I picked up a big package of the frozen hamburger patties at Costco. I rarely ever do that, but I did this time. They were really good. And I just cooked the whole package. I think there were 24. And so we had several of these left. And so I'm going to stick these in the freezer. And these will make a really good lunch. Um, or like I said, a quick supper. Okay, some things that we're working on. You can see we made a little greenhouse for one of our science experiments. Since it's springtime, we're working on sprouting plants. So we have these in the little soil pods. And you can see little sprouts starting to form. And then this is a terrarium that we made in a balloon. And when the seeds that are inside the balloon sprout, we're going to slice the balloon open and plant the seed. So those are just some homeschool projects that we're working on. Since I haven't made a vlog in a while, we wanted to catch you guys up. Springtime here, we're finishing up with schoolwork. We're on the downswing now. And so now we're doing some fun projects to end our school year, even though we really never end our learning because... We all know that learning is a process that occurs every day. It's a beautiful day outside today, so we've been outside catching up on some of our read-alouds, and it's been a little bit since I've shared with you what we're reading, so I wanted to do that. We are still reading the Moody series. We're in book two, Autumn with the Moody's, about halfway through this book, and we're still working on our Little House series. We're on Farmer Boy. It, we're about halfway through that one. And then a friend lent me this book called The World of Little House. And we absolutely love it because it goes along with our Little House series. And it gives historical facts and data about Laura Ingalls Wilder and her family with maps and timelines and just all kinds of great recipes and all kinds of great information. So we're enjoying that while we're still reading our Little House books. Then the same friend also gave me this wonderful book, Then Sings My Soul, and it's 150 of the world's greatest hymn stories. So this is going along with our Bible. Sorry about the bar. Dogs. And One of the many things that I enjoy about homeschooling is this right here. We had some really miserably cold weather a couple of days ago, and today was absolutely beautiful outside. And so we spent the majority of our day doing the biggest part of our schoolwork outside, and then they've been out here playing pretty much all And play is integral to learning. I think that sometimes we over schedule and we just get so busy and we get our children and ourselves involved in so many things that we forget that the most important things are just the basics. And having the freedom, giving your children the freedom for them to explore and learn and use their imagination and have the ability to be able to be creative and learn through play is really foundational in learning. And in today's culture, that seems to get forgotten and lost because we are so easily manipulated into thinking that the key to success is to have them involved in any and everything. So I hope this gives you some encouragement and helps you to pursue, pursue some quiet times and some times that your children can just play and be creative and immerse themselves in childhood.